Easy peeps, welcome to episode 84 of Started From The Bottom of The Road To Law. Today's episode, kicking off just a couple of things that we sold, but today's episode is mainly going to show you all of the new purchases we've made and then squad battle rewards. Now, the reason I haven't added the what we purchased onto a separate video is that honestly, it just make the other videos just far too long. So, a couple of weeks ago, we obviously sold off loads of players and stuff like that. Um, so now we have to try and build up the club. So, team of the group stage is out. You can see there we bought a Froiler for 11,000. We bought a Pepe there for 17,700. Now, we've bought multiples of various different cards and I'll show you which ones we've purchased and things like that so i'm trying to go with 83s 84s high rated players and just basically cards that i think is a great deal here and there i bought another froiler for 11,000 there i think all in all i bought six or seven froilers for 11,000 coins each just in case they're needed for an spc and then what i'll probably do i'll just trickle off a few for like 12 500 something like that and just make three four hundred coins um I just bought them while they was at 11,000 rather than having to then fight for them at 12,500 or whatever because obviously there won't be much in it. Um, so if I can just make my money back on a couple of them, that's cool. That you know, We might sell all of them and not make any coins on them because they might not be needed, but I, you know, I'll see how it goes there. So the main objective is just try and pick up cheap, cheap 83s, cheap 84s. Uh, and you know whatever we see is a good deal here and there. So there's another Froiler there for eleven thousand. Another one there for eleven thousand. Uh, another one there for eleven thousand. Guess what? Another one there for eleven thousand. So that's what six, seven. I think we've got one stored in the club as well. Um, the reason, like I said, I'm showing you this is because you could see that during the weekend league video, if you watch yesterday's video, that obviously the transfer kitty, the, the coins, it just kept going up and down, up and down, up and down, and then dropped dramatically. Uh, dramatically. That's because we're, these are the purchases that we made. So we've got Bernardo Silva there for 3,300 coins. He seems to be in literally every single SBC needed, as is this gentleman here. If you look at any of the SBCs, or any of the prime icons, the 84s, the 85 rated, the 86 rated, the 87 rated. Those couple of players always seem to be floating all over the place, as does this man here. The 900 coins for there and 700 coins for that 83 there, that represents a great deal. Unfortunately, look at this, 64,000 coins it went for uh, for Kalini, and I couldn't manage, I just forgot about it, I just, I thought, oh my god, I went and played a game, and then I just totally, totally zoned out and forgot about it, you can see there, he's already up to like over 75,000 coins there, and Sandro there went for 67, um, that's about its price, nothing major, so I'm quite glad I didn't purchase that. But like last week he was what, 90, you know, 85,000, something like that. So that represents a good price. Now the 83s and the 84s haven't quite bottomed out to what they was before all of these uh, SBCs and whatever came out. Um, so you're still paying a bit of a premium. You might get the odd good deal here and there, but they're still quite high to what they was like three, four weeks ago. But compared to what they could shoot up to, they're still relatively cheap. I just bought an Isco there for 16250 That is about its money. Nothing nothing dramatic there. But I, I, I do think that 86s and 87s are the plays to go. Now, this is the bargain of the century. We've got an Iniesta there for 15,750 coins. He's going for, what, about 25,000-ish at the moment? Um, yeah, 26, 27, something like that. So that, you know, that represents a great deal. Unfortunately, we couldn't capitalise and get any more there. We got a Cardi for 3,100 coins. Again, another solid 84 that's in a lot of the SBCs. Horn for 3,500 coins. Again, another solid SBCs. We've been trying to bid on loads of glicks here and there. For me, though, he's just still a little bit too expensive when we're wanting to pump all my money in. If I need him, when if I need him to do an SBC, then I'll just go and buy him. But he's not, he's not like, there's not enough in it for me to go and buy like three or four of him to try and you know make coins off it because he's still going for well over nine thousand coins here and there 
Again, great deal. Another 84 for 3,500. We're trying to get nannies. I think my, my max for nannies is about 1,700. So we'll just we'll keep looking for nannies. Um, we'll keep bidding. We'll keep doing what we can do, and we'll try and pile up on nannies because he's a great he's a great link being Portuguese and uh, Calcio A for various SBCs and stuff. Now the intention obviously is to you know in your mind you're like yeah we'll, we'll buy these and we'll shift them for loads of money but in reality i'll probably end up using all of these to do sbcs i think we've got footmas coming up um this is being recorded before any details of what they're doing for footmas has been released um but if they do the same as like last year's another pepe there for seventeen thousand. if they do it like last year where they um you know did a player for every single day then these cards 83s 82s 84s are going to get absolutely melted off the transfer market and obviously if people are opening less and less coins in preparation um, less and less packs in preparation for team of the year then obviously these cards are just going to keep shooting up in price because there's going to be less on the market that's the plan anyway who knows they might decide to do something completely different this year with footmas because they've you know every promotion that they've redone it's kind of been a little bit different to how it was last year so they might decide to do something completely different now you'll see there cahill we paid 3300 for since that i've purchased a couple of more cahills and we're on like the 4000 coins the so cahills the market's starting to restabilize now it's starting to go up slightly since when these were purchased um, so don't think that you're getting a great deal on some of them. You know, be, just be careful on what you're purchasing. So these are the ones that are actually in the club. Um, I, I know I showed you Charlie Austin, but I wasn't too sure if I did. So I put him in anyway. We paid 18250 for him. Now, this is where majority of the coins have gone. We bought Higuain for 59,000 coins. And that seems a hell of a lot of money for a card I'm never going to use. But for a 90, he could shoot up to 70,000 plus. And then 60,500 for uh, Tony Cruz. And again, we never use him, but again, he could shoot up to the high 60s. So we could save ourselves like 10,000 coins if we decide to use him or we decide to sell him. Now, Manalas there, we paid 4,200 coins for with a shadow because I am slightly thinking of possibly changing the defense a little bit. So he was just purchased with a shadow in preparation in case we use him. If we don't use him, we've got an 84 card for 4200 which is a little bit expensive at the time for what Manalas is going for but it won't be by the time it becomes relevant that 84s are needed if that makes sense so we haven't really lost anything out on there pedro 3600 we'll, we'll end up buying quite a lot of pedros we'll end up hopefully buying quite a lot of cahills uh because again premier league with um the premier league player of the month coming up high rated cards in the premier league as well will also be needed so they'll slightly rise we bought another pepe there for 17,750. again pepe seems to be in everybody's sbc like squad for whatever right an 86 team an 87 team or whatever pepe is like one of the most used cards uh so for 17,000 coins i think we bought three of them in the end that's not bad we'll take it he was going for like 22,000 plus. So if we can save 5,000 coins if we decide to use him, or even if we flip him and only make 3,000 coins, it just makes the SBC that we do use in 3,000 coins cheaper. Now, squad battles rewards are here. Now this week, until the re well, not this week, this week and the rest of the year, I'm not touching squad battles at all. Uh, Christmas, New Year, just gonna chill out a little bit, getting a little bit of FIFA burnout. Um, so I'm just the only like intense games and going to play is concentrating on the weekend league. So squad battles for 2017 is done for me. I might go back to it when we hit 2018. I'm not too sure. So the feature squad for this week, I'm sure you've seen it, is the insane, insane. Look at that team, people. 94 Ronaldo, 99 Lewandowski. 99 Vidal, 99 Robin, 99 Kimmich, Vieira, Nesta, oh, Maldi, oh, oh, just, 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 what? What? Just, what? Just multi -culty. Hey, I ever see a multi -culty. Yeah, good team. Love it. I don't know. I can't skip back. Was that Nesta or was it? was Nesta, wasn't it? Please say it was Nesta, not Maldini. I, I can't remember whether it was a left-back or a centre-back. My mind's just gone blank, people. 
But it was one of those two anyway, yeah? So you'll know who I mean. <laughs> I can't remember. So, squad battles. We've got 39,800 coins. You can see the coin shop there. That's probably because we've lost the bid on PK. Let's just go and double check. Yep, we lost the bid on PK. So our coins now are uh, 533,000. Thanks to the near 40,000 coin injection we just got from squad battles. Now we're going to miss that. We are going to miss that. But time over coinage, over lost coinage for fitness, over other stuff. I don't think it's that as much of a loss as what you think it is. Um, if you think that... You know, what is it, 45 games? What's that? So 16, 18 hours of gameplay plus, plus the coins you'll earn for the game. But you only earn coins every two, every one every two games because the other game is fitness, which might cost you 500 coins. So that negates the. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So it's not that many coins. So hopefully we don't miss it too much. So the first mega pack there returned us with absolutely nothing. Nothing. And let's be honest, I, I can't remember the last time we got a major, major pull from a squad battles mega pack. Um, you know, I'm sure you, I, I, I legit can't remember. If we did, I apologise, but I, I can't, you know, it's not like we're, we're pulling, you know, 86s and 87s every single week from these packs. All they're doing is giving us some great players for SPCs here and there. But as you can see, majority of my transfer list is now filled up with just nonsense 78 and 79 rated players because I don't want to quick sell them in case they're needed for an SPC in the minute I quick sell them they're going to be needed uh, but they're, they're just not doing anything for me so on the second pack we get a flash we get some boards of yours and we get Bastos and we've already purchased a couple of him so that's no big that's what a 14 1500 coin player and that's our big pull so our big pull from two of these packs is a 1500 coin player however we get a bit of luck. We managed to get a Middlesbrough Silver who is in needed for this week's marquee matchups. I know. So he will go on the transfer list for just under 8,000 coins. And the Silver Championship player from Middlesbrough ends up being our biggest pull from our squad battles rewards. And that's why you can't be sure what is needed in your club. Because, you know. Just, you know, 8,000 coins for a Middlesbrough player is your biggest pack pull from squad battles. And if you, somebody would have said to you, okay, so which what card are you looking for this week? You wouldn't say, I'm looking for a Middlesbrough left back, would you? No. So, going forward, for the rest of 2017, no more squad battles for me. I'm having a bit of a break on that, and we'll just be playing the games needed for weekly objectives, and obviously, but Champions Weekend League which coming up the next two, two or three weeks, I'm probably after going to try and cram in into one and a half days anyway, because I'm going to be extremely busy leading up to Christmas, Christmas itself and New Year. So that is it for today's episode. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you could tell all of your friends and tell your aunties and leave Santa a Christmas card to tell him about us. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching in a bit.